So here we are at the centre of Newcastle and those are rockets just underneath the railway bridge and we'll be fishing not far from here just a little bit further down river at the Copthorne Hotel. Good evening, I hope you enjoy yourselves, let's go fishing. We're walking along, we just parked the car, we're walking towards the iconic centre of Newcastle, the bridges, and we'll be fishing just on this side of it at the Copthorne Hotel. You can just see the Copthorne at the side there. There's a lot of noise, a lot of people. Hopefully I'll have a good night. I'll come back on when I've set up. I'm fishing and I've just cast that rod in. I have not got a massive fish pulling on the end at this moment. The tide's really pulling through here. Um, so yeah, I'm just suffering from that at the moment. I think in hindsight, probably cast out too far then. Should have pulled it in a little bit. But we'll see what happens. I've got crab on the blue rod. Um, and I've got black lug on the other. We are, as I said, near the centre of Newcastle. Um, we've got a swing bridge, high level bridge, and a time bridge just there. The Millennium Bridge in the distance and the Baltic Flower Mill in the distance where I was fishing last week. And also the Sage, uh, which is the uh, venue for music. Um, and this is the Copthorn Hotel, a very lovely hotel. Um, and I'm fishing in front of that, just next to the Melia Hotel, which is where Gina de Campo's restaurant is. Bit posh for me, you might think, and I'd agree. Anyway, I've got a six ounce lead on the uh, crab rod, seven ounce lead on the other, and um, yeah, it's not holding bottom. This is towing through at the moment. Um, but hopefully as the tide drops a bit, it'll uh, lose some of its power. I'm actually now regretting having two rods there because obviously I could easily cast over one another or catch one another as I'm reeling in. So we hope we don't. I think that's just about settled down now. Just had the first knotter of the evening. He's just come up to tell me that you can't fish with two rods and film at the same time. He'll have to arrest me. He's then had a laugh, said good luck and cycled off. Oh uh, well, that's the quayside in Newcastle. <laughs> we'll carry on. Harmless fun. That's the Metro Bridge. So, no bites as yet. I've actually swapped the rods around because they appear to have crossed over uh, the blue rod with the green rod when I've cast out. I haven't cast, uh, brought in the line jet from the first cast. I will be bringing them in in a minute been fishing for about 15 minutes so no knocks nothing yet very disappointed last week I cast in the crab and got a fish straight away not so far however the black lug is super black lug so I uh, can't blame it on the quality of the baits quality of the angler however could be um, just reeled in I've cast back the worm rod with a piece of squid on as well I've put that quite close in so it doesn't pull round much um, it's a bit of an eddy there so that's hopefully gonna yield results just fishing out of that eddy uh, the other rod I've put in the middle rather than uh, casting right over so hopefully uh, well it has settled a lot quicker and that's got the crab on again now the crab was stripped off the hooks don't know when because I didn't see a bite but it was gone the worm we're still on, hence I've added squid to it. So I'm going to pay attention, see what happens. Just had a lovely chat with the Jewish couple. Wanted to know if they were fishing the time. So I gave them a little introduction to the river and what it's like these days. <sighs> it's a lovely spot here. It's the scent of the birds. This is the centre of Newcastle. There's rabbits, there's birds singing. Ah, uh, it's not a bad old city, this one. So, the town's starting to pick up. It's now dusk. Still no definite bites. Been here for about 40 minutes now. I'm just going to change the baits again. I would have thought to have had a knock or two by now. 
that first bite on the crab. Still had nothing on the worm. Just have a little knock. See if it develops into anything. I hope it does. It's getting a bit so boring. That uh, bite turned into nothing. Um, I've just cast out again. Um, but unfortunately, when I did reel it in, it was connected to the bottom or something on the bottom, which I then pulled off. So I've had to re rig that rod, put a new hook on, um, cast out again. Still using crab. It is the only bite I've had has been on the crab. Uh, nothing on the worm yet. I'm going to put uh, some different baits on that worm rod now. See if we can get a bite with mackerel and various items. It's called for desperate measures. I've now got uh, mackerel on one hook, two hook flapper and hermit on the other with the black lug that was already on because it didn't get touched on the last cast nor did the squid and the other one's got the crab on. I just got very excited as the rod ripped, whipped right round the one with the crab on only to find out I cut a branch. So back in again. Branch one, fill nil. Boo. Want another bite at least. I've just had a drop back bite on the crab rod. Don't know what's gonna happen on that. It's not tightened up at all. Might have to have a feel. Well, twice had debris pick the rod up and take it downstream. I don't know if that was a drop back bite or not, but certainly something happened and it went quiet. I've had one proper bite on the crab, down at my last crab. The hermit's not had a touch, the black lug didn't have a touch, the mackerel didn't have a touch, the squid didn't have a touch. The only bites I've had have been on the crab and only one of them was a definite bite. It's a hard one to weigh up this evening. One fish could change the whole thing, but oh, at the moment looks like I'm heading for my third plank of the winter. Well, sorry, of this year. It's not winter anymore, it's May. It's nearly bloody summer. So, yeah. Not the best. Met Ollie, a homeless chap, ex para who's uh, not having a good time these days. He's just been having a chat with me. He's, uh, he's had a few, but he's all right. Nice lad. He's um, telling me that uh, all the guys who fished here today, all blanks. There's only a couple of flounders caught out of all the people he spoke to up and down the riverbank. So, not feeling quite as bad. I may be in a very large group of blankers today. That's not Cockney rhyming slang in case you thought it was. But, got a little bit more time. Stick it out, see if we can get a fish. Save that blank. Well, a last look down the time. Not a great night tonight, bit of a shame. Tried all the baits I had with me. Really thought the peeler would work. It did get bites when the others didn't, but couldn't convert. Just wait for that train to pass. So yeah, the peeler got bites when others didn't, but it couldn't convert it. So, that's uh, me outside the Copthorne. Bit of a fail. But it's a lovely place. I've had some very interesting chats. Go home now. A cup of cocoa. And uh, wholesale run in the morning. Tight lines, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm sorry I didn't catch. But if you'd like to subscribe, I'd be grateful. Oh, I forgot to mention, I actually got one subscriber whilst I was studying fishing. He asked why I was filming and uh, he's just gone unsubscribed. Yay! So, uh, I hope you guys uh, include him, whoever's watching this. And uh, thank you very much for your subscription, all of you. I do appreciate them. Any comments, always appreciated. Now it's off to bed. Night-night. No, no.